here we are, actually. Well, new scene, new me. Well, only me this time, actually. How are you all doing? How's everyone's day so far? I'm bald, yeah. Well, I cut my hair. It's like winter style now, which is just kind of going bald because it's easier with hats. Good morning to everyone in the US, actually, because it's really early there. So, um, slightly different concept this time. Vil doesn't have too much to show. He might join in still, but I'm not too sure about it. And Oki can't join in right now. So, uh, you're left with me today. <laughs> so, development side, I don't even have too much to show from my end too. I could just give, give an update on the skin system we are about to do and everything. But apart from this, I don't think there's... I don't know, do you guys want to see an update? On skins and everything? Okay, yeah. There we are. Let me stream it for the Discord then too. There we go. And here we... So this is the update right now. It's it's a bunch of skins still. It's still the very same thing. Um, I finished, last time I had like up to, yeah, I had the first prestige, like the first five in. Um, the first three prestiges are done. And I'm just slowly going through them. And yeah, adding 64 skins per prestige is, is a challenge, especially because I, yeah, we, we pretty much all still remember my struggles from last time, right? Of, like, what would be the unlock schedule. In the end, I just choose random right now. I have to admit it, I just, like, go completely random. The only thing I try to do is, like, not do the same pattern twice. Like, these are already really close to each other. But that it's always, always very... That's actually the same pattern twice. I guess someone didn't pay attention when he was doing that. Which is me, but no, never mind. Um, no, I'm just like picking random. Um, so in all color variations, I think we all remember it. Let me or oh, show something that I shouldn't show here. Let me actually be safe. Ah, oh, no, okay. Never mind. It would be fine. Would have been fine. Let me show it again. There we go. This is what it's looked like right now. Still all the skins. I'm just putting like red boxes over every one or every I used already. And then I'm just slowly filling up the entire sheet with skins. So I, what a, we calculated last time, I think I did 680 something skins. And the color sheet has space for 640. So that is, that is what I'm doing right now. I'm just filling everything up. So yeah, this will... Might take me still another week. 60 watt skins? Yeah, 600. I made 680, so a few will drop out, but 640 is more or less the thing we're, we're aiming for. Because we can put 64 in a row, which excludes like the prestige. I will do a special one for the prestige one, which you unlock as soon as you go with prestige, and then just like skins. So, really, really long time able to unlock various things. Yeah, that's that's what I'm still somewhat stuck on and still working on next to like some other things I work on. Right, that's the update basically. It's I've done some progress but not too crazy of progress. Well I I did I did a good amount of progress. But yeah, still still will take me a while. But I'm on it. Then, oh, one update. Uh, we have picked new people to help me modeling. Um, they will start in like two weeks or something. I think beginning, what is day? Beginning of next month. And then we have like new people in here. There's also, uh, also update on the hiring side. Anyway, as we're left alone today, I have something cool prepared. Um, some might have seen it, some not. 
we launched a feedback form on Reddit. When was it? Two, three, four days ago? Maybe early, definitely earlier this week. So we launched a feedback form. Um, actually, only two days ago? No, 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 no. It was definitely longer. Anyway, we've launched a feedback form. People could fill out a form. I build it together with Terminal. Um, I go about specific things we want to look into regarding uh, progression and everything. Um, yeah, actually, I'm alone today. So, that form, it is three days ago. There it is. That form has now gotten 913 answers. Um, and we are looking to, or what we're looking to, this already gives some good insight of what we specifically looked for. Um, in the end, there was a question of like, what would you ask us? And this is what we do today. We answer not all of these questions, but a good amount of them. Um, and I already, I already have a sheet prepared. Today I'm prepared, actually. I'm once prepared for development stream. Unbelievable, isn't it? Um, yeah. So, in general, what I wanted to address first, before we, before we actually get into Q&A, is our way of collecting feedback. Um, no raging. I'm not going to, like, 900 questions today. Unless we want to do it, like, 24-hour stream or something. But maybe not today. Maybe not today. Uh, there was not directly in Q&A form, there was just the last question in it. Um, but I want to address how we collect feedback. Uh, we, I, a lot of people should know already, in the meantime it's fairly known that we have like a closed feedback group. Um, and yes, that, that group exists, but it's very much locked behind closed doors and nobody knows who is in that, hopefully, to some degree. And what we basically do is, um, we get so many comments. Uh, the Steam discussions has like daily new 50 posts. I, I have the Steam discussions, or I follow the entire forum. So everything that gets posted in there, I see it. But for a three-man team like us, it's just too much to go into every single thing ourselves and just double check everything. Okay, where is this? Where's that? What is the entire opinion of everyone about that latest change. So the feedback group we brought into life helps us with that. What I do a lot, uh, well not, I, I don't do it too much, but I still do it a good amount, is I just browse channels myself, I just browse uh, forms myself, uh, check what Reddit posts there are, and send it in, this, in these groups. And the group helps us just find every valuable information in there and then assemble them to one big sheet. Uh, we have like several threads with like issues in there where we find like everything about this topic and based on the entire community feedback, we evaluate what would make the most sense of how we should proceed with what we change about like, let's say XP or something. Um, so that's that's what we are aiming for, that's what we are looking at. So I hope this gives some of you a good understanding where we actually get our feedback from and why we do some changes. Um, it's not always like only ransom or something, it, we actually think about why, why we need to do something, why should some things be done, and the feedback form is like, it's like our next step in that. What we want to probably do, we probably will start it with every update now, that after every update we publish a form. For now I think we'll leave it to Reddit for a little bit. I don't know if it would make sense to post it in Discord. I can definitely do it. But we'll post it somewhere and then just like collect the feedback. Okay, what does everyone think about the latest update? We ask them specific questions and based on the answers we'll then proceed towards the next one. Yes. That is the current plans with feedback. Because I see, like, there's even a clan of, like, a clip of, what is it, um, Linus Tech Tips. They have the WAN Show podcast. Yeah. Um, I've seen it. It's going to be addressed. Um, don't worry about that. We're, we're definitely going to address it. Because the, 
feedback shows definitely one thing already that you guys don't really particularly like the new way it votes for maths. Which I still think it's cool. But yeah. Yeah. Um we need to adjust it a little bit still. Also stay hydrated. Yeah, that's a good idea. Uh, about Linus playing, I don't know, but definitely a few people from his team are playing. Um, I'm in contact with a few of them. Drink some water, people. Alright. Alright. Then, I think, if there's no questions about the way we gather feedback anymore, I think we could start with some of the questions we got from that feedback. If that sounds good to have one here. Starting with the very first one. When will the there be what is it? When when will there be a refreshed roadmap release now? That's a major Ah a roadmap. Oh god. Yeah, it's on my task list for a while already. I wanna do roadmap so badly, but I just can't get around to do it. Um Roadmap is a good question. Roadmap is a really good question. So there's definitely a few key things we still want to do, like the um, the middle sim mode. There's a few vehicles that are unreleased now. Um, the weapon rework, armor will be more. There's some ideas with armor still, what we want to do. So there's a few things we still want to do. Just, yeah, time is... Time is something we all need to, need to sit together. I need to sit with Oki and Velasquez to just figure out when, which thing would make sense regarding a timeline, and then build a proper, um, a proper roadmap for this. But yeah, I I do get why a roadmap will be like really important to have in the meantime, and um, that definitely that we definitely get into this. Yeah, I um. I'll promise I'll promise everyone here that I'll do a roadmap. I just don't know when yet. Because making that roadmap is quite a lot of work. Just taking everything in account and just creating some cool pictures and everything for it. So yeah. That is it's still on my list, but it doesn't have a date right now. So I don't I don't really know when I will do this. So let me actually delete questions before I read something twice. That would make sense. Um, what are the worst and best maps and why? Oh, here we, hot topic, not gonna lie. Speaking about maps, what do you guys think about Kodiak? The map we launched last week, the orange one. I've seen a lot of people complain about it's too orange and we already did a fix for it. Which should, made it to the game yesterday. I think. I have not played the game in like, two days again. Did I? No, well, no, no, not really playing it yesterday. But it's great. Yeah, the Roxxon is, is part of like our our change in just going a little bit more high poly, a little bit more more realistic with some things. Um, we want to do more textures with some map objects. So the Roxxon is definitely one of the biggest things. It started with Selfie Bay, but Kodiak also has new rocks already. So we're slowly adjusting Adjusting whatever we do and just make the game more beautiful. Um, I think even like even the orange. Uh, I know some people really hated it, but I think the orange as a style is like really great for that map. I've, in my opinion, in my humble opinion, I think it looks really cool that we have now a map in an orange style. My water was supposed to, my water was closed. Like this of it. This is just some jackets on my door. Orange is awesome. Orange is awesome. Check what the discord has to say to this. Yeah, okay. Well we, we turned down the brightness already. Uh Velasquez did a fix about this and I think it is in the game already, but don't quote me on that. I didn't ask Velasquez about this. Okay. Anyway, hot topic. The best and worst maps. In my opinion, but 
A little bias there. I think Salhan is one of the greatest maps we have. I love Azagor. Play on Azagor. Vakistan is fun, but I'm not the biggest fan of it. And I don't really like Sandy Sunset. To be honest. Basra is, Basra is cool. Um, Basra is really cool to play. Especially with the ship in the middle. I really like playing Basra. Just like sitting C point all day long. That is my vibe. Uh, new Namek? I don't know. I have I have I don't think I've played a proper game on a new Namek yet. Or well, maybe one game. But old old Namek. Oh don't don't question about old old Namek was just insane. Pensatown. One of my favorite maps, C point that big shared building complex is it's just so fun to just be around in and just like jump from building to building to building. Uh, or just camp the burger store, which is something we do a lot. What else? Eduardo I I like Eduardo. I think the the layout of this map is cool. The the town is also really cool, but I'm, I think the old one, like from a personal level, I like the old layout a little bit more. I definitely see why we do the new layouts, and I, it's really cool, even with like the swamp, swamp-ish area with the church. I think that is really cool. But the old one with the like large fields over like the many hilltops, which. I think that was really, that was so unique to just play on, just snipe across map. I think we did the, the longest snipes there. I'm so looking forward for the new Wine Paradise. Old Wine Paradise um, was was amazing. And I I talk with Will and the layout will will stay somewhat the same. I hope we will do the same amount of elevation again because that would be like so cool. Just having that that dam up there again, and just like the long or like the high highest hills, especially with helicopters now, hills or even like an entire um what is it oh a ravine or is it a ravine? I can't find a word right now. A canyon, canyon. It's like a canyon section. Stuff would be so cool. Like imagine flying with a like the little birds through like a canyon or something. That would be cool. Like full on um. What Top Gun? Oh, well, Top Gun was Jets, but full on this. Old District, yeah, okay. District Bunker, District Bunker was always insane, insane. It was like always some party within the bunker, always. But to be honest, I like New District. I like playing on it. I think this this old swamp setup. Is actually really nice. Like if you, I don't know if you ever rush because you can go from the very bottom from a, what is it US team spawn to Russian team spawn through like one of the canals. It all it goes all the way up there without like ever leaving it, and nobody really notices that. And you can just like hop objectives. You can just go up and like spread out, and then just go down again. Lenovo. Well, Lenovo is like a really deep city, but to be honest, I'm also not a big fan of it too. I I don't play Lenovo too much. Lenovo, like, it used to be that thing. Lenovo Knight used to be such a big thing and everyone always voted only night. Nobody ever voted day. I don't know why that changed. Like we get so few night votes in the meantime. Only a few, very few amount of maps play night. And... Night is not always like entirely dark. Some of the night maps, for example, Isel and Fergus, they have some insane night, uh, like some insane night style. Like Fergus is not even proper night. It's like more sunset where everything goes red and orangish. And on Isel, we have the Northern Lights. The they have a proper name, but yeah, the entire green lights in the sky, which makes the map so beautiful, and you can actually see without night vision. Aurora Boralis, that's what it is. So that's that's my opinion. So if I, if I would need to pick a best and worst map, 
I'd say for my best map, I would definitely pick Salahan because I just I love that that layout. I think that city is is so cool to play in. And for my worst one, I may pick. That's a good question. I might actually go for Sandy Sunset because I don't like playing that map. I don't really like it. The, this, the sections around the city are cool, but... I, yeah, I might go with that. I might go with that. Alright. Going on. Going on. Parachutes anytime soon. Negative. Um, that actually has a reason why we don't do parachutes in the game. It's... Um, if we would do parachutes in, like, helicopters and everything, people could just jump out the helicopter. And, okay, yeah, this doesn't sound bad, right? So, the thing with it is, if we would make parachutes, wherever you are, you could always jump out and just go to the ground, which would completely revoke the use of ropes. Um, nobody needs ropes anymore. Buildings become completely irrelevant because you can always just jump up. You, you never need to take the stairs or something. Yeah, if you're a high-skilled player, uh, you can still, like, vault over something, get to something, but fall damage is, is always a thing. So, the main, the main thing is definitely with parachutes, ropes, nobody would use ropes anymore, and I think helicopters and ropes are one of the greatest things we did. It is... So amazing, just hang on a rope or flying with a helicopter somewhere and everyone's just like um, getting out of it, just drop to the ground and then the helicopter takes off again. So with parachutes, that entire immersion of just being dropped off somewhere would, would just fall away and I, I think that is by far not a good idea. And the game, the game plays good without parachutes. We don't really need parachutes. It's, it's just simply to avoid fall damage. And um, no, I don't, I don't see that. I, I don't see. We in general, we don't see parachutes to be a thing anytime soon or ever. Yeah, that's take on parachutes. How long until we see support guns from the game files in the living game? I can give a good update to this. Um, we work closely with our animator and he he's currently in the process of like learning the way we do things because we switched our animator a little bit. Um, well, not a little bit. We switched our animator. We have a new person helping us now on a freelance site. So he, we're in the process of him getting used to everything, how we want to do it and what we look for the entire of like how do hands rotate in the game so it's it's all process it takes some time to adjust but we already started off with some um lmgs but only magazine fed for now as the belt feds we still need to find out how the belt feds works because in the old belt feds we had every single bullet in the model and it was all animated and I think some may have noticed it already that there is a system in the game where it shows the amount of bullets that are in your magazine. It's like it's like a small detail thing, but the amount of bullets in your magazine is always due to the actual amount of bullets you have. And with the LMGs, with the belt fits, it was never true because the there's always like the belt. And in our side, what we would really love is actually having that that you shoot out an entire belt and it actually ends. You see the end of the belt going into your weapon and then you know the weapon is empty. You don't have to um, wait until it does like the clicky. Definitely, you will hear it because there's the clicks. The clicks always get lighter the less ammo you have in your game or like the clicks of the clicks, the shot sounds, whatever. Um, but we want to redo the system. And before we introduce belt feds again, we... We want to get this covered. We want to take a deep look into this and build proper belt fits. So 
every belt in the game will actually feel great and look great while doing like its build fat thing. And that's why we still, or we are so hesitant with making LMGs or putting the LMGs into the game because we still need to address this entire thing. It's not like like any other weapon right now where we just put it like, I would model it, it goes to the animation, uh, get some sound design done, and we just put in the game, keyframe it to here and here, give it some stats, and then just push it to release. It's the the entire system there has to be made first. We have to think about it first. These the weapons might need some reworks. The animations they are not started, but in case we would have them, they would need some reworks. So we just like kind of want to save us from like doing the entire rework part where we just figure out the system first and then build upon it. And that is still to be done. That's why there are no battle fats coming to the game, and that's why. Everyone says um, we hate support. We don't really hate support. We, with the current tasks um, that are in the game right now, the current weekly tasks we have to do, there's two support tasks, and that is not because we hate it. We kind of want to see people more play it. And while we put this task on, we also went in and it's like, hey, okay, now more and more people play so, uh, support. Let's just collect some stats about the support class and which state it is in. Um, maybe even introduce some people that never touched support because they, they only seen it has so, so few weapons. Introduce people to play support. Um, and well, it works. Not gonna lie. Uh, we see a lot, lot, lot more support players. And um, it is really noticeable now that everyone just has axe or armor. And it's. Your chances playing against a support player gets less and less now. I, I don't know. It, Maybe it's just a huge skill issue on my side, but I try to avoid support players once in a while because I can't get to kill them. Like, I'm not even joking. Yeah. That on that take. Let me just do a zip of water here. When does weapon customizing come? There is weapon customizing. Or do you mean like customizing that weapon itself in like stock and something? Because that, that will not come anymore. Alright. Alright. That on that. Do I have a dock? No. Um... I think Vil doesn't have any animals, if I'm not cr if I'm not wrong. Um, Oki has one cat, and I have well, my family more or less. We have four cats. We are all cat people. We don't have dogs. Oh, here's a good one for the the weapon. Why no shotguns? Because they are pain in the ass. Like, no. At first it was a meme, and then we looked into it and we just noticed, okay, shotguns would be so, like, so fuck up to make. Like, name one game that has perfectly balanced shotguns, because you can't balance a shotgun. It's either it removes everything within existence or not, and um, or it's like completely underpowered or something. So shotguns, negative, not going to happen. For now, not going to happen. Nah, nah, definitely not gonna happen. And it's not only the meme, it's like actually because it's just fucked up to make. Um, I would like you all to address attachments for guns, specifically the grips. Oh, um, that is partially project within the feedback team. Um, reevaluating what grips do and don't. Like we did it, if I'm not mistaken, the current grips. Completely based on absolutely random stats. It's... We only put something really random in there. That's why some just do the very same thing as others. Um, but it's like... it It's a thing we did. It works. Um, they do change things. Yeah, it's great. Now we just need to remake this into something very proper. Which... We started with weapons where we did balance 
the weapons under themselves and now then we have to go into and like properly build out the attachments and balance the attachments then which is is a task in itself because there's like don't quote me wrong or don't quote me on this but what is what do we have 50 something attachments i think no we probably have more right we have probably a bunch more i don't even remember how many i made it could be 70 or something and I still have, there's still some unreleased ones, by the way. I still have, I think, two sides and maybe some grips I found somewhere online that I think was cool. I still have them in my files, I just never gave them to Oki. Because we... We never really looked too deep back into attachments. So, um, yeah, the attachment rework, it's, it's a huge field. It's so much that has to be done in there. But, it's coming. There's definitely some efforts going into this right now. He is hoarding attachments. Maybe I am. Please add the maid skin. Oh god. The maid skin. The never ending topic of the maid skin. So I know I did it. Um showed it a couple times already. There's a maid skin. It's it's one big as meme I did. And um I have always carried on it as a meme. And there's no real intention to add it, to be honest. I, I probably still have the file somewhere. I think I recently even found the file again. But not going to happen, people. Not, not going to put in the maid skin. Yeah. Yeah. You can't talk me out of this. And whoever's wearing a maid costume or whatever. Speaking about maid costumes, if you guys want to see me in a maid costume... Feel free to check out the remake Atlanta because I kind of plan to just carry that meme over and just do it IRL instead of adding it to the game. Um, speak about that uh, battle bit ish thing, everything uh, will be at remake Atlanta. So if anyone is out there in Atlanta um, or is planning to go to remake, we'll be here too, or we'll be there too, with some cool cool stuff. Anyway, main skin not gonna happen. Not gonna happen. I'm sorry, people. You know that even the the clip of me showing the May skin on the Twitch rival stream, that clip made it to r slash livestream fails and has like 60k or I think on this account it is even. It has like a crazy amount of views if you go into the clips here. Probably something, something, something. Anyway, no maid skin. Will there be even double XP events? Yes. Um, there's no points for it right now, but it definitely, it definitely was a cool event, and yeah, I don't see why we shouldn't do a second one. So, somewhere in the future, definitely going to be in double another double XP event, more or less. When will be when will vehicles become fun to play with? Okay, um, tough one. Vehicles are fucked, like entirely. Uh, there's no point in lying about this. They are just not really great. They are not in a really great state. They need a good amount of time, a good amount of insight, and a good amount of reworking before they will be in a really good state and I hope at this point vehicles vehicles will become playable like the the entire way the vehicles are built right now is not really great from the start on it's the entire way they are built right now is basic, basically entirely based on me explaining to Oki how vehicles work because funny enough when we started making or remaking vehicles we looked a little bit into physics and how the vehicles react to terrain and everything. And Oki just couldn't imagine like how does X, Y, or like how these things react to some environments. So what me and Oki did, um, because fun fact, Oki doesn't have a driving, driving license. Oki doesn't know how it is to drive. He never driven a car to this point. So... What we started to do together is um, play a set of Corsa, 
the racing game, and I just taught him how to drive. Like, literally. Um, and then we did, like, laughs around, like, various racetracks, and I was like, hey, a car reacts like this if you do this and this with it. So the entire system on how vehicles react in the game is completely based on just me explaining it to him. Yes, he did crash. Man, it's really good that in the race sims you can't, bur can't burn clutches because he would definitely have burned a clutch every time he wanted to start. So, yeah, and that's why vehicles are not in a good shape, kind of. Well, not to blame Oki, but it's just, he can't do anything for that, and I'm not too good of a programmer. Um, so, yeah, vehicles definitely need to, re -be need to be rebuilt. And even the fact that how differently they react from terrain to speed to everything is like, yeah. Yeah. So, that's... <laughs> That's why vehicles are in the state that they are. They just work. Um, they get you from A to B. They're a little bit ifed with physics once in a while. But that is that is a whole big big topic to get into again. With, with all sorts of challenges all over again. So yeah, that's, that's the state of vehicles. Which is actually a funny story if you tell it to someone. Now that I hold again. It's it's somewhat funny, not gonna lie. <laughs> Adding drifting, yeah, we just like put the handbagger in space, and then people can just drift around. We just make some track cars you can find randomly on the on the maps. Actually, <laughs> let's make some race cars, like you can find like two seaters or something. Let's make a Porsche or something. Find in the garage and just like yeet, like run around everywhere. That would be. Horrendous. All right. Are there battle court painting on all maps? I found a few. Yes. Every single map that exists has a painting of Velasquez. If you haven't found it yet, then you haven't looked close enough yet. But every single one has. There's even on every... Okay, maybe not every single map, but on a few uh, maps there's even an Easter egg about me. Or not a painting, a different thing, but there is, there's one about me too. They exist. There's a bunch of e in the game. There's a bunch of e in the game. Um... Yeah, another... Are there any updates with unreleased weapons in mind? Um, balancing and other features right now is, is one of the main priorities, but there are new weapons will come, but it's, it's a slow process. I just had somewhat a very similar question over again. Um, what is the next one? Helicopter miniguns underwhelming. Are they? Because I see some people absolutely destroying others. Just waiting for replies here. I would actually be interested. Maybe I'm reading Twitch chat here and a text file I have. They're gonna rework a soul class for sure. Our soul will also get some. But is how many guns that underwhelming? Is it is it that bad? Well, we should definitely do former voters at some point. Getting some data in because I, to be honest, I don't have too much data on the minigun. I'm not a pilot myself. I can't fly for shit. Every time I just lift that thing off, I crash somewhere. I can do some little flying. I'm just some from getting A to B. But I'm not a good pilot. So I wouldn't even be able to hit something with the minigun. Alright. Then let's go over this. Um Do you like pi No. No 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 no. 
pineapple on pizza is a crime. You can't change my mind on that. It is a crime. I used to work in an Italian restaurant. Pineapple on pizza is a crime. If you do that, if you order that at a proper Italian place, unspeakable things will happen to you. Pineapple on pizza is just a crime. No. Never. Never, ever in my life. We had it once. I don't know which bright mind was like, it was a good idea to order at work. We had some pizza once. Which bright mind had the idea of ordering pizza with pineapple on it? I refuse to eat anything. Not gonna lie. Pineapple on pizza shouldn't be a thing. And I refuse to believe that it actually tastes good. It doesn't. No. It's... That is almost religious to me. Pineapple on pizza... Pineapple does... Doesn't belong on pizza. Just no. Never. Next one. Add vehicles to sugar and rage. Oh! Vehicles and sugar and rage. A question I never heard. Um... Doesn't work. Basically. So, the shooting range is locally. It doesn't re require any server. It doesn't start any server. In the background, everything that works on a local level with the game, like shooting and everything, which is like on your end, um, that is that works in the shooting range. But vehicles are made on the server side. So the server tells you where the vehicles are and everything. Um, that is completely server-sided. That's why we don't have vehicles in a shooting range, because the shooting range is just a local playground. With everything you can do locally, um, works there. Vehicles won't work there. What? What it could technically work, but it never was never made in that way. If the game would start up a server for yourself on your own machine in the background or something, but that's like, oh, that is hard to do. Really hard to do. It's just completely unrealistic to do. And to bring vehicles into the shooting range. The vehicles entirely need to be remade from the ground up. Um, so, no, it's the, the use case is nowhere in relation to the effort behind it. Like, there, there's no relation to that, that amount of workload for w what the use case would be. So, for the, for the time being, uh, it's not going to happen. If we come around to an entire vehicle rework entirely, then we can take it in account if it makes sense with the actions we do. Um, if it makes sense to to put some effort into making this happen, that vehicles can be in a shooting ground. But for the time being, it's absolutely not going to happen. Absolutely not. Pepsi or cola? Oh, um, neither actually. First of all, I'm a, I'm a water drinking guy. Uh, one I really like is the Africola, not gonna lie. That, that is really good. Um, there's some other ones, uh, but usually like smaller brands, Fritz, if some people know it. Um, that's a little bit more my jam. But usually I'm not really a cola guy. I like some soft drinks, yes, but... More into the what is it seven up um there's some more or less biological ones like some orange ones, but um yeah, I'm not really not really a big soda drinker usually usually it's water, usually it's water Pepsi or cola that's a cool question Pepsi man, Pepsi, where's my jet right? Oh, well, yeah, Spezi. But I wouldn't call or I wouldn't count in Spezi with Cola or Pepsi. Spezi is something different. Spezi is a little bit different. Any plans for artillery or mortars? Um, hardcore, yes. Because mortars without team killing are just OP. If you can't kill your team with them, then there's no sense because there's no uh, downside to a mortar. You can just, like, spam it anywhere. Um, wherever your team is, it would have absolutely no downside to run a mortar. So, in hardcore, yes, when you have a downside to it. But, otherwise, unlikely. How hard do you think it is to develop and deploy a new recall system for dev team of 300? Also, what would be a tough... 
Death Team of 300. Death Team of 300 is... It, that is a huge-ass team. And that team probably has different... Um, different departments. There's an art department, of course. There's an trust and safety department. There's a marketing department, whatever it is. So... It's really the question how big the programming department is, how good the research department is, and how good base info they can get in. But even one person can do a really great recall system. It's just what base info you can work with and where this info goes and everything. So, yeah, that is it's a little bit wake. Um... We will see 4B removed from medics. Um, unlikely for now. We have been talking about maybe replacing it with something else. But C4, all, like, medic also should have the ability to break into buildings. And C4 was, like, the main thing or the, the best idea for that. So, yeah. Um, C4, for the time being, will definitely stay with medic. Possibly be in the future replaced with something else, but never entirely replaced. That is the take on that. Um, will we get a hardcore milts mode? Yes, it's one of the biggest things we want to do still. But we haven't come around to actually start the development in that. It will be a thing. We are so excited for it. Um, yeah. It's it's definitely going to be a thing. What exactly it will look like, we can't really talk about that yet. But we will definitely do in the future. Uh, class favorites. Oh, that you can put things... Ah! That might be a cool idea. Just pressing like favorite and it's like, hey, okay. Um, these are your... F there's your favorite layout and you just click on like a button and then it always goes back to your favorite base layout. That would actually be a great idea. It would actually make sense to do. We should... We should keep that in mind. Let me just... There we go. That's noted. Noted in our chat. Chat. Improving weapon progression. Uh, attachment unlocking. Good question. I Before the release, I made a new unlock scheme um, that you always like unlock not random, but evenly spread out all the attachments. I may have not done a particularly good job with it, but I think it is, it's definitely at a better point where it was before. So it, it definitely works right now. I don't know, is there how big the demand for this is? Because I would put it very low in priority for the time being, as we are still doing other big things, and we should maybe focus on them first. Um, do I complaints? Oh, um, yes, some of you, I need some rework. Some of has been noted down. Um, we have some ideas how to improve, add more info to the UI and everything, but this is such a big change that we might just do it on something like this behind me, bring it on the drawing board, go several times through that before we publish a new UI, because that might change the entire way the game is played. Well, not might change, it will just be so different to the end user that... It can go either way, it can be a really good change, or like everyone will hate us for this. So we want to test and play around with this first before we do anything of that. And yeah, there it is. We do surveys. All the questions I'm reading right now, well, most of them are from that survey, the most recent one relaunched. Um... Oh, personal question. What did you have? Do you plan on having for lunch today? I don't know. Um, my mom is currently out hiking with some friends and they may go to a restaurant tonight. 
and if they if I have to pick them up, I will get something at the restaurant. Otherwise, I might just do. Might just get some bread or something. I think that's. If I don't go to the restaurant, uh, to pick them up, then yeah, I'm just probably having some bread and marmalade today. So nothing, nothing too crazy. The simple lifestyle. Um, I think the worst part of this game are the sounds. Yes, sounds. Um, I think we talked about it even last week, uh, or like last week's cast. Um, we're working with a studio. There will be new sounds. It's also the same thing again. Um, with just getting to know each other and figuring out what specifically each party wants, like what ideas they have, what ideas we have, how some things should sound, shouldn't sound. All these things. It just revision after revision until we find the good common grounds where both part or we both agree on. So it's definitely coming. Um, how often does the dev team play to enjoy BBR? That's not playtesting. Oh, yes. Um, I play like every other day, to be honest. Um. Like in the nights, I would play with friends. Like usually, what we did for a little bit now is I w we watched some series with some friends, and um, right after that series, we just usually r jumped into a game of Battlebit. So I'd say still quite a lot. I uh, I I don't play enough to finish at least one weekly task. I have to admit it. But I played. How much time did I play? Well, okay, no, this week. This week I did play less because I had crazy amounts of work, but I had the game on for a while already again. Does Steam somewhere tell me how much I play Battlebit? The la last week, I would assume it says like something 50 hours in the last two weeks. I'd assume something 20 hours or something, but definitely most of it was working. So. I do, I do play it. I'm like level, what is it now? I'm, I think I'm level 160 or something now in the game. Which is still on way under what everyone else is, but... Sometimes I wish I would have more time to play. Sometimes I really wish I would have, but... Reality sometimes has way different plans for you. Oki played a lot more. Um, Oki, Oki plays like during the night when I am asleep. And I see Velasquez. Velasquez played like yesterday, nah, like yesterday evening all time. So yeah, we play, um, and I really like playing the game. To be honest, uh, usually it's like you do something all the time. You're always looking at it. Then you can't just can't be bothered with it. But the thing with Battlebit is, at least from our side, is it's it's the game we made that we always wanted to have. This is not a job fast because it all started with a hobby and everything. So, um, we just actually love playing our game because it's like all we ever wanted a shooter to be like and feel like. So it's just like kind of our jam now. So yeah, that's that's pretty much my answer to that. How did you get to know Oki and Velasquez? Oh, um, actually, through like an application. Uh, back in 2018, they were looking to, or looking to get help with someone making vehicles, and I did some modding back then for other games. Some may still remember Ravenfield, that game. Um, basically similar to Battlebit, but only single player with a bunch of bots on the server. And I used to make vehicles and everything for Ravenfield back then. Um. Yeah, and I basically applied here, and since then, from going to just a freelance and I'd only do things on the side, we became friends, and then I became, I took over other parts within the team, and yeah, that's how I got to meet Oki and Will, and that's now, it's scary to think about that six years ago, or it's five years ago still, but meeting was definitely like something six years ago. Could we pick a gun to carry over? Oh, uh, the prestige token thing. Yeah, um, we had a discussion on this. 
I would need to find out my notes about this again. We definitely had a discussion about it, but I don't know what the result there was anymore. Because that was like one and a half weeks ago. We had a we had a discussion about this. I think I, I'll just leave it at this before I say something wrong. There was a discussion, but I don't know the results anymore. Is there any chance of a zombie game mode becoming official? Um, something, something. Uh, we used to have one. We made the infected mode. It's really still in the game. It's called infected. But um, we decided to give it to the community. Kind of. We didn't want to continue it. We just thought like it would be a nice idea to just leave it for the community. That someone in the community go in and make a mod for this. That's yeah. That's that that point. Um, I don't. I don't know if if there's a need for an official one. If there is a really good community made one. But I'm definitely open for suggestions here. If you guys think we should definitely make our own. Um, then I don't know. I'm definitely open for feedback on that. Alright. Well, it might need some assets or something. Map events for Halloween and Christmas. Um, map specific events. I don't know, but we are we're probably doing something with ours again. For Christmas, we're definitely bringing back the Santa hats. Uh, like we had them last year in a playtest too, where people did run around with Santa hats. Yeah, that's that's something definitely for Halloween. We'll think of something. We had some ideas, but I don't know what the current state of that is. Um. Tactical versus crazy weapon skins. Um, for the lower prestigious, for people that just get into the game, I'd still go with realistic and tactical because that's like the main core and the main idea of the game. Later down the line, higher prestigious and such, I um, I'm definitely open to do more crazy skins. And I already well, the new skin system has a bunch of crazy skins already. They it, the majority is normal ones. But we definitely get way more interesting color patterns down the line. Yeah. That's the state on that. Alright. And that's actually all my questions here in my sheet. Me are done then. Good. Um. Oh, the AK Twitch skin. Yeah, I need to fix that still. Oh, you mean the 1 by 72 hours? The Rivals Winners won. Because if you're talking about this, um, I talked to 72 about it. And we want to wait until we do like a big event with Battlebit again. And they all get bad back on streaming Battlebit before the skin goes to waste. That we just run a campaign with this now for like two weeks or something. But nobody really plays Battlebit and like barely anyone has a chance to get it. So once we do something bigger again, which we'll definitely do. And we do the drops then. Because then it, it, it's most effective for everyone. So everyone has a chance of getting these skins then. Like, or at least more people have. That's like the agreement we came on. That's why we don't drop it right now. Alright. Is there anything? Let me check both chats. Pumpkin shaped grenades. That would actually be funny. As when you die, you slowly throw. Oh! Having ghosts fly out of characters when they die. So just like something grazing to the sky. That would actually be cool too. The ghost thing. I might I might copy myself the ghost skin. Let me actually write it. Put that in our dev chat too. Fly out of body. And I can't type when. Alright. Alright. No visual clutter. You mean with all the icons? We... Uh, two weeks? No. 
When was that update? One and a half week ago? Definitely an update. Uh, a few updates back, we already fixed the visual clutter with all the icons. Um, right now, when an enemy is, is not in your sight, actually, is like behind a building or something, at some point the icon of him will just disappear. So by far you don't have as many icons anymore. You can be in like a 250 player server and you can barely see anyone. So that is fixed. That is fixed. All right. Yeah, I think I'm, I'm pretty much done with my things here. You guys don't have any further questions or any big questions, let's put it that way. I'd say thank you all for joining. Time to play. Mm, tonight I might play. Like right after this. In uh, 20... Is it 27? Yeah, in 27 minutes I might have a thing I need to attend. Um, But tonight I'm definitely down for playing. So if anyone, else, anyone here is playing on EU servers tonight, you have a good chance of meeting me. Somewhere in these servers. Alright. Then everyone... Thanks a lot for joining again. It was a pleasure to be here with you. Next time, definitely with the other two again, where we'll probably have some some cool updates again. Something, something. Then I sincerely thank everyone to be here, to take the time to be with us. We'll be here. And um, all right, then so be it. Everyone, have a nice day and maybe see you in the service tonight. Bye-bye.